Good evening. Broadcasting to you from Perth, Western Australia. This is Perth Pete. This is part three of some videos that I'm making tonight in which I relate to you or read to you some blog posts that I've made in the last couple of months. If you haven't seen the other two, feel free to check them out. If you're not interested, no worries. This third post was made in relation to a person posting an article on her blog talking about the death penalty and seeking people's opinions about it in relation to an horrific crime that she had seen reported and seeking our feedback about it. And my response was as follows. I disagree with the death penalty. I do not think there are any circumstances where it should be applied. None. Not rape nor murder. Vicious or cold-blooded. Multiple or single. If Western society argues that it is okay to kill someone for the crime of rape or murder, it makes it much more difficult to argue that a state sentencing a woman to death for being raped, as has happened in some society, is morally wrong. The state, the government and the judiciary is not perfect. The legal system has been shown to be wrong, finding the wrong person guilty, time and time again. Nor is the legal system fair. Money can and does buy you the best legal representation, improving an accused person's chances of receiving a lesser sentence. If you are poor or from an ethnic minority, the chances of getting the death penalty for the same crime are much higher. The state, the government, should not have the right to take a person's life. I would argue that a state dehumanises itself if it does so. In effect it says, we do not value life. It's okay to kill someone. Now that's hardly the message that I'd like to see Western society send to the world. Nor is a death sentence a deterrent. It has been statistically shown, repeatedly, that the states with the highest rate of death sentences does not have the lowest rate of crime. Now some people would have suggested that the crime is horrible, therefore it should be punished with the death penalty. And now my question is, where do you draw the line between what is a crime that is punishable by death or one that is not? Is the assault and killing of a child automatically punishable by death? Why not the assault and rape and murder of a pregnant woman? Or of a senior citizen? Now here in Australia there's been a lot of cause recently for assaults against senior citizens to be punished more severely. And I ask you what is the difference between killing a four-year-old and or killing a 27-year-old or a 93-year-old? Killing someone is the crime. Why should the potential penalty be different because the person killed is younger or older? Killing murder is horrible. Now this crime that was being discussed resulted in the people being sentenced to jail. And there were other comments made about this post. And some of the comments talked about how the couple would be lucky to come out of the jail alive. Are they therefore suggesting that it is okay for the prisoners to kill them? 
Surely that's murder. Aren't they arguing that a murder should be punished by death? So a prisoner killing another, murdering them, is justified because the prisoner did something horrible? Well, sorry, no. Murder in and of itself is horrible. There are no shades of grey. So in summary, I disagree with the death penalty. It is immoral, it is inhumane, it is unfair, and it is discriminatory in practice. So that's my last post, my last blog comment. I appreciate your ratings and feedback and comments. Good night.